2002, Moivo was 16 and Timor-Leste was nearly independent. Along with other children, he sent the president a postcard with his hopes for the new country. The children wanted democracy, peace, better living conditions and opportunities for young people. In 2023, Ivo presented those postcards to the current president. 20 years on, what are the challenges for the people of Timor-Leste and how have things developed? The second voluntary national review asked these questions, putting people at its heart. In 2002, newborn babies faced infant mortality and stunting rates that were one of the highest in the world. The situation is improving with programs to encourage breastfeeding and good nutrition in the first 1,000 days, but the figures are still the highest in the region and third worst in the world. Children living in remote areas outside the capital Dili face additional challenges. 40% of households are living on less than $2 a day, so they struggle to afford nutritious food for their kids. The national preschool education rate is one of the lowest in the world. In remote areas, it is significantly lower than the city. The government school feeding programs ensure children get at least one nutritious meal a day, increasing children's learning potential. One third of young people aged 15 to 24 are not in employment, education or training. Many young Timorese are seeking work abroad, for instance, on seasonal work programs. To better prepare young people, the government is making quality education for all a top priority, providing scholarship for kids from vulnerable households so they can access higher education, such as at the new university campus at Hera. As a small island nation, Timor-Leste is looking to expand and diversify its blue and green economies. From traditional employment such as fishing and seaweed farming, to world-class marine tourism, and public-private partnership, funding a new port at T-Bar and the solar energy initiatives. Partnerships like this are key to diversifying the economy and creating jobs. During the COVID-19 pandemic, the country was hit by devastating floods, destroying over 31,000 homes. These shocks point to an ever-increasing need for social protection for all, particularly the vulnerable. Despite the challenges the people of Timor-Leste face, the peaceful election of 2023 show it is one of the most vibrant and successful democracies in the region. So returning to the postcard 20 years ago, what do the next generation want for their country? Wanda Habot, how can I say the Tora, how the Bele and Jude Mabara, Mori Saudava? On a Naran blessing, how a Karak Timor Nanara Mori Yamundo, and Yanara Mabana, how a Karak Timor Mori Siadami, Domi no Unidade. Stunting child malnutrition, extreme poverty is not acceptable, whether in Timor-Leste, in our country, or anywhere in the world. For the next few years, we must make combating against extreme poverty, stunting, child malnutrition, an absolute moral and a political priority.